Vice keeps on pumping these little suckers out and I just keep eating it up. It's just so good. Yo, I don't even want to play around. I just want to get right into this video, you guys. Let's just do this. You guys got whiskey? They just like bark out of order? Maybe I wouldn't have to bark at you if you heard me the first fucking time. Hey, yo, bro, you got a wh Yo, bro, 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 you got a fucking whiskey, nigga? Fucking barking orders at me. It's like, bro. You're a fucking bartender. Yeah, they're gonna bark orders at you. A, it's loud. B, you're probably not fucking paying attention to them and they probably want something from you. I'm serving customers and somebody will just walk in the door and be like, yo, oh shit, here comes the VIP. You know what I mean? Get the table ready. Yeah, that's right. Get the fucking table that I paid for ready. Also, bring my fucking bottles too, bro. Don't forget them shits either. Hey, bro, if you pay for it, yeah, get the shit ready. Fucking, yeah, he is the VIP. He's the one spending money in your fucking establishment. He's the one giving you a job. The overexcited waving isn't gonna help. Like, you're not dying of thirst. <gasps> I need water. <laughs> but to be serious, it's like, I don't have to be dying of thirst to get the fucking bartender's attention, bro. It's like, bro, that's like a very big stretch. I shouldn't have to be dying of thirst for you to be, oh yeah, that's right. There's another customer over there trying to give me money. If you go, hey, Roddy, and I have to juice myself to you as Roddy, don't use my name. Who do you think you are? Hey, bartender. Hello, I'm Roddy. All right, Roddy, can I get a gin and tonic? Don't you dare use my fucking name, you piece of shit. Who the fucking hell do you think you are? Um, a person that thought he was gonna give you money, but never mind, you can bring the next bartender without an attitude older. Fucking piece of shit. Well, you just lost a huge tip, probably. This could have been a fucking, I don't know, some kind of oil tycoon or some shit. You just messed your own self up because you wanted to be a little prick. It's like, bro, this man out here thinking that he's like God or some shit. Don't say my name. Who do you think you are? I don't know, someone that's just trying to be social. I'm sorry that I'm trying to show you some respect. I can't just call you bitch instead of bartender or Roddy. You know, if you prefer that as your fucking pronouns. You'll wait, because they'll get to you. It's in their interest to get to you. And they know every fucker that's in the bar. That much I can guarantee you. All right, Voldemort, you don't know everyone in the fucking bar. Why are you making this sound like y'all are running a CIA agency in that bitch? Bro, what are y'all, fucking communist China with cameras that are able to tell who's who with just by how they walk in their body language? Dirty little secret about alcohol. Most of it tastes like shit. But if you wait like five or 10 minutes after you drink, you feel a little better about yourself. It's not real. It's totally false. But man, it'll carry you through most of your life. Another little secret. Everyone knows that alcohol doesn't really taste that good and everyone knows that it makes you feel amazing. Why would you ever wanna take something that tastes horrible and has no benefits to your life? You know, just food for thought, you know. We're just out there slanging facts back and forth, you know. Just giving you some facts too, man. Do not wave your hand in my face. Tapping. Or like, yo, like yelling at the bartender. See, usually what you're supposed to do with the don'ts is tell things that you should absolutely never do under any circumstances. But this shit is completely defendable. Like, yo, yo, nigga, I'm trying to give you the fucking money so I can leave so you don't say I left without paying my tab. Or, yo, bro, you want this tip? Bro, let me get another round. Obviously, you ain't doing shit but talking to that hot bitch down there. Nigga, get your ass down here and do your damn job. Do not snap at anybody. Please don't wave your dumb fucking smile in my face. Yeah, you guys, that's very fucking rude. Why the fuck would you wave your fucking piece of shit smile in someone's face? How dare you try to brighten up someone's day? How dare you try to make his work a little bit more enjoyable? I can't believe it. Some people nowadays. But really, how do you wave a smile in someone's face? Someone walks by, oh, hi, I remember you from last night. Shut the fuck up. If I'm turned around on the register, that's not the time to be like, hey, six vodka sodas, one with a splash of cranberry, one with pineapple. You're gonna get your drink. That's the only reason I'm here. You literally had to pay me to hang out here so you can get drunk. Yeah, I know I'm gonna get my drink, but at the same time, you're taking your sweet ass time, bro. I'm trying to get drunk fast. I'm trying to get the fuck out of here. I ain't trying to be here all damn day. You know, I'm just trying to, you know, sit there, throw all my world problems onto you, walk out, go home, fall asleep, and then go to fucking hell the next day. Literally, your job is to fucking make drinks. If someone's just like, hey, yo, once you don't want cash register, I kind of want a vodka soda, vodka with cranberry, vodka with pineapples, then you mentally make that note in your head. All right, vodka cranberry, vodka with soda, vodka pineapple. And then once you're done with the register, you know what to do next. 
they're giving your next task that leads into the next tip. It's almost like people don't understand how economics work. What? You want me to do more work and you're going to give me more money? That makes sense. Why does that make too much sense? I work more and get more money. Huh? Who would have ever thought? What I don't like is when people just don't know how to order. He's like, uh, do you, what kind of elderberry liqueur do you have? No, I got none of it. The guy's never had a good drink in his life. I look around and it doesn't look like I know what I'm doing. I love a pint of Guinness, because I know ultimately that's what I drink. Let me get beer. What fucking beer, you know what I mean? We got like 25. Let me, let me get a shot, like, okay. I mean like, bro, you're a fucking bartender and this is probably their first time at a bar. They don't know what they're doing. They don't know what's going on. So when they're saying, hey, yo, let me get a beer. It's like, do you have a specific beer or do you want a suggestion? It's not that hard. I've had people come in and ask me if we have vodka. Nah, we're, we're just a bar that doesn't have vodka. All right, that's one thing that's undefendable. Like, bro, you're going to a place that has nothing but alcohol. If you're saying, oh, do you guys have the most common beer in the world? Oh, do you guys have Bud Light and we're like fucking Mississippi or Alabama or some shit? No, we don't have Bud Light here. If if a fucking bar in Mississippi or Alabama says they don't have Bud Light, I would actually probably stay because that sounds like a fucking classy ass bar. Long Island iced teas, much like Red Bull and vodka, have a bad rap. It's not that it's so much difficult to make, it's just what happens afterwards is the problem. If you're powerhousing through like six Long Island iced teas, like that is terrifying. I used to chug a Long Island iced tea to get ready for my shift. Cleaning up after people to drink Long Island iced teas is not my favorite thing to do because it usually involves buckets of water and bleach. I mean, if you're working at a bar and you're wondering, huh, we don't have a janitor. Who's supposed to be cleaning up the mess that's made? Oh, wait, I am. There's something magical happens when you step behind a bar. Girls that I would never even consider hitting on have, been, have given me their phone numbers, caught me out back when I was smoking and tried to make out with me. It's cool. Girls that would never want me in a million years sober. They go heads over heels for whenever they're fucking drunk. I wonder why. These bitches are drunk and horny. They don't fucking give a fuck what kind of dick is in them at this point. Yeah, her pussy's gaping a little bit. But you know what? She drinks a lot too. She's a social drinker. Getting it on in the bar business is an occupational hazard. I've had somebody offer to give me a blowjob in the alleyway. I get tons of bears hitting on me. Big gay guy who's covered in hair. Sometimes I get like kind of pulled into like, oh yeah, kind of cute. And then I see them get shit faced. I'm like, oh, this is why I'm single. You know, sometimes I, you know, think guys are cute, but as soon as I see them get drunk, I'm like, oh yeah, this is why I'm single because I'm shallow piece of shit and that doesn't understand that people act differently and out of control when they're to get fucking drunk. How old are you again? Bitch, are you even able to serve drinks? People act stupid when they're, they're drunk. I'm pretty sure you're not the fucking most bright-minded person. You're not fucking Albert Einstein whenever you get drunk. You're not doing fucking quantum physics and building rockets. I'm pretty sure you're being a little dumbass too. Don't like come to my door guy with like a million papers and a photo of something that you think might get you in. Like your college ID is not gonna work. Like, I'm sorry. I remember I had this one kid, he called his mom on the phone out front of the bar. He's like, mom, they won't let me in the bar. They think my ID is fake. So we go and get a balloon, tie the kid's fake ID to it and come out front of the bar. And we're like, yo, my man, thing just goes up in the air right in front of his face if true that is one of the best things i've ever heard but if this kid really called his mom because his id was actually real and you guys didn't know then you guys are fucking pieces of shits bro like this man's just trying to get drunk and you guys are like nope there goes your id but if true that is amazing and that should happen more often i swear it would be like a little candlelight visual in the air I told you guys at the beginning, just fucking wait, just fucking wait. Now we get into the good shit. If you leave me fucking 50 cents on the bar, you're going to get it back for me. And I'm going to say some not so nice things to you. If you're having three drinks and you leave me two and you want to bend my ear for 45 minutes, something's wrong here. I feel all dirty. Even if it's a cheap beer, you're expected to tip a dollar. You're not spiting the man by not tipping us. The only person that you're hurting is, is us. Are you not a man? I'm, I'm guessing not. I'm, I don't know what your pronouns are. I'm sorry, ma'am, sir. 
Apache helicopter? But yeah, I am spiting the man that's being a dick to me all night. If you guys haven't noticed, this man has been talking shit to everyone. And then he fucking let a kid's fucking ID go into the fucking stratosphere. Yeah, I am kind of spiting the man. The man that's being a piece of shit in the bar and then expects money whenever I'm done dealing with his bullshit. Easy. Dollar per drink, couple dollars for a mixed drink. If you're running a tab, tip 20% on top. That's pretty much the, the main do. Do tip. Yeah, there is a time when not tipping is okay. When you're not here. Learn how to tip appropriately and act like an adult. And if you can do all that, maintain yourself, if you can not throw up, and if you can leave this place pretty much like you entered it, we'll always have you back. That's it, you guys. That's really what I wanted to show you guys. Like, for some reason, these bartenders were just being pieces of shits and just talking shit about all their customers. But as soon as it comes down to the money, like, they want to get paid in full. But that's the end of the video, guys. And if you guys made it this far, tell me how drunk you had to get just to make it to the end of this video. And also, don't forget to like and subscribe. Turn on that bell notification, too. I might as well start saying that shit. I might as well get used to start saying that shit. Because I guess my subscriptions don't hit everyone's boxes either. But other than that, I want you guys to have a nice day. I'll see you guys in the next video.